Hello, Investor Intel. I'm here today with Shadan Garen from Global Blockchain Technologies. Uh, so, Shadan, how are you today? Very good today. Good to hear. Who is Global Blockchain? Like, what do you do? Uh, well, we, we're an investment company. We, we invest in cryptocurrencies. We, we invest in best of breed companies in the blockchain space. And we incubate our own ventures and projects. And I know you also have a mining, mining division part of your company. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and how that works? Yeah, so we, we're, uh, we've, we've invested heavily in the mining space. We're one of the largest mining operations now with our, with our recent uh, announcements um, in, in the space. And uh, we're spinning that into its own company. So right now, if, if you buy a global blockchain stock, you're actually going to get one-to-one -one, uh, shares in, in, in the mining company. And I, I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's a big win for us, I think. And can you tell me your software, your mining software, I think is really interesting. Yeah. Um, can you just tell me a little bit more about it and how it works? Yeah, so our, our mining division isn't going to be your typical uh, blockchain mining company. We, we really, as I, as I mentioned to you last time, we, we really want to have um, an edge over, over other people as the, the two chip vendors do. And part of that is by creating a very distributed system where, where, where mining is actually auxiliary to other functionality. So for example, heating a home, uh, you could use a miner for that. And, and that's, that's an area we're looking at. All kinds of devices and, and so could anyone make money, I guess, using your software? Like I yeah, at home running yeah. my house, home or house, or a condo could make money running your software. Exactly, get get a little bit of discount on your on your heating bills, and that that in itself is a wonderful thing, right? Yeah, no, that yeah. definitely is. And I know one of the token companies that you are investing in is Kodak Coin. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about this deal and what your uh, yeah, what your so plans with to do with I it? Think as well, as a company, we've always been really interested in in the uh, you know intersection of the media industry with blockchains, and and one area that really shines is uh, digital rights management and uh, you know proper distribution of funds for content producers, and and that's Kodak Coin actually deals with both of those very nicely. So it, it provides a way of of keeping provenance on you know the ownership of of content and also a, a means to uh, split payments and and you know pay everybody who was responsible for for that content who has who has a license to it. And you've also partnered with another, well, invested in another company, yeah. uh, Breaking Data, also known, I guess, in this text as Give em Sports. Can you tell me a little bit more about this uh, yeah. partnership or strategic plan? Give em Sports is actually, I believe, the second largest uh, media uh, house in, in in the UK for the sporting industry, and. Um, we we are we are we've 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 invested in them because strategically, I I've, as I mentioned to you last time, I believe as well. I believe social networks of any kind are where cryptocurrencies can really shine because you introduce a token that gives value to to the network and, and can be used for all sorts of things. And um, an example of us actually doing it is through uh, Give Me Sport, which which we're going to do an ICO with them. It's it's one of the incubated companies that, that, that we're working with to, to do that. Are you working with any other companies that you can share with today that you're planning on doing ICOs with? Um, well, we're working with one of the larger uh, social networks in the gaming industry. I, I, I can't mention their name, um, but, but we, we, we're incubating an, an ICO in-house with them. Uh, in addition to that, we've invested in Millennial, which is a uh, gaming company as well, who, who is doing an ICO. and, and uh, we really believe what they're doing is, is great and uh, groundbreaking as well. And Facebook announced the other day that they are no longer letting people advertise their ICOs on Facebook. Do you think this will have effect at all on the ICO process or how you plan on promoting ICOs as a company? No, I think I think it's the right thing to do. And Facebook at the same time, uh, Mark Zuckerberg made it clear that, that cryptocurrencies are very important to him and something he's considering. And, and I... I can tell you a lot of large media companies and social networks have approached us and are very interested in exploring um, the, the opportunity of introducing a token and turning their networks into markets. Thank you very much uh, for joining us today, Shadan. Oh, my pleasure. And for our Investor Intel audience at home, please feel free to leave your comments below in the comment section and let us know your thoughts on cryptocurrencies, blockchains, and bitcoins.